Amma was first diagnosed with breast cancer in March of 2008. She was diagnosed very early on and her surgery was a huge success. Um, so she was in remission for three years and then had secondaries in March of 2011 and she passed away about three months after that. I remember the first conversation she had with me about breast cancer and it was like any other logistical conversation about fitting a mammogram in because dad was making her. And that wasn't because dad necessarily knew the benefits of early detection. It was that one fateful night he had a dream that she had cancer and insisted the next day that she get tested. I remember the first conversation I had with mum about breast cancer. She showed us a family tree that her cousin had sent, the idea being to show the prevalence of breast cancer amongst the women on mum's side of the family. I do remember being absolutely shocked at how common it was and it scared me. the first conversation my mum had with me. The doctors had asked her to go in for a redo of her mammogram after one of her routine breast screenings. When she got the call, she said to me, does this mean I have cancer? She was worried because her mind took her to everything that could go wrong. But we did some research and we knew that she would be okay. Amma was just the strongest person I've ever known. I don't know of a stronger person than my mum. She never once let the illness get to her well-being, her mental well-being, and she had such determination to beat it until her final breaths. I love that Amma and I spoke about what I should name my kids, and, and I love that she gave me parenting advice. I'll, I'll really treasure that chat forever. Looking back, I love that we spoke about mum's diagnosis as a gift, a gift of life. Um, that this woman that birthed me, raised me, fed me, um, cared for me from the moment I was born was given a second chance. Um, she was able to watch me get married, she was able to hold my children moments after they were born. Um, her life was a gift. My mum hadn't been so vigilant with her testing. She would never have seen me get married and never have met to her beautiful granddaughter. When my daughter grows up, we'll have these same conversations. I want her to know that it's, she shouldn't be scared to get the testing done because they're so important to make sure that she lives a long and healthy life. Full wonders for art. Amma is the backbone that enables everyone in our family to stand tall. Amma is the nutrition to keep us healthy and happy. And when she is there, nothing seems impossible. Start a conversation with someone who is precious to you because as hard as this may be to hear, breast cancer does not discriminate. I've seen this illness grab hold of someone and take them away so quickly and without warning. The conversation I would now have with my aunts and loved ones is that you are the women that complete me. I love each and every one of you. I need you to get screened. Start the conversation with your loved ones now. Life is so precious and you owe it to them and yourself to live as long and as healthy a life as you possibly can. Mum's been cancer free now for eight years and thanks to her vigilance and getting regular mammograms, she'll be with us for many happy years to come.